just dropped the car off after a four day long road trip and now we're in Tokyo. We have less than 48 hours in Tokyo before our flight back to Hong Kong. If you've been watching us for a while now, you know we love our Tokyo coffee shops. So we're gonna go check out some of our old favorite cafes as well as check out a few new ones. But first, we're gonna go get some breakfast. Side note, we haven't bought anything on our Japan trip so far. So we do plan on buying a bunch of coffee beans to bring back to our home cafe in Hong Kong.
These are so pretty. These are tote bags. Oh, they even have one for Miyashita Park. Yeah. I'm gonna pick up another four piece box of Tokyo Banana Pokemon for my friends. going ham at high tide. She got the right one this time, the large size. What if you like quite die and then you mm -hmm. bend your heel? Look at all that shopping we've already done. In this big bag we got already. Good use, good purchase. I see Parco up ahead.
Vic's favorite store, Saturday's NYC, is just next door. to buy something for my friend who is turning 10 this year. the Starbucks Sakura drinks of 2024. never felt so rushed in our life but we only have 36 hours so we're trying to do all the shopping and coffee hopping that we can do within this one day and it's mad windy. We are now on our way to Mermaid Coffee Roasters. I actually ran to this coffee shop in Sapporo and it was the best coffee I ever had in Japan for their light fruity roast and they have one in Tokyo. So now we're on our way to see if it's the same taste. And check it out for the first time. And buy beans.
I mean ear pods, USB C. Big camera, here we come. Good, how are you? Good yeah, seeing you. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Thank you. Very good. Uh, customer coming in. Customer coming? Oh. Oh. No, oh, that's good. Good. You have new new staff too. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Three people now. So many any country coming. Any country. Canada, Canada, Canada. Canada. Indonesia, uh, Hong Kong, oh. uh, Inglis, uh, yeah. so oh. many countries. And then they tell you they watch the video and they come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wow. Okay. I, I already asked all, all the best. You always ask. Uh, why why you know my best? Right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, really? Yeah. Really? Or for okay. no? Sorry, sorry. I, I don't. I don't want to be rude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've never met a real YouTuber in Japan. <laughs> 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 first I, I just came up from Germany uh, yesterday. Yes. I'm going to KL tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. So I must come, you know, to the finest Japanese food in between. <laughs> <laughs> and you come here twice in the last six months. <laughs> and you're not living in Japan. <laughs> fight for the bill after. Just sneak up. Sneak up. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't, you don't fight, you sneak up. <laughs> <laughs> breakfast attempt.
one of the reasons why we booked our hotel is because it is only like a five, 10 minute walk to Cafe Mamiya. We're heading now, they open at 10, but I can see there's already a queue at 9.55. See you next time. Yes, you. You know where we're at again, Flying Tiger. Kawaii though. Very niche usage. We're about to check out of our hotel, but I'm going to give you a really quick room tour at the place we're staying this time. We are staying at the Tokyo Stay Aoyama Premiere. I've always wanted to stay here just because the location is close to Omoto Sando, all the shopping and coffee. We are staying at the residential room this time. This one also has the standard washer dryer, but there's a large cubby for you to put, you know, small suitcases and umbrellas. Then moving on, we have the traditional Japanese toilet. This one does feel a little dated compared to the Ginza one, but everything is perfectly functional and fine. Because we're staying in the residential room this time, there is a small little kitchen for long-term stay customers. They have a little trolley for your you know, kitchen setup, a microwave, and some bowls, plates, and cutlery. And I believe there's a stove top somewhere, but we kind of moved it out of the way for us. Then moving on to the bedroom, we have a very narrow double bed, a single window that doesn't open up, but overlooks the Aoyama Cemetery. Then to my right, we have the TV, um, a larger fridge actually, which has a freezer, and then a small workstation. And that concludes our Japan hotel room tour. Checking out and on to our next coffee shop. We actually had a few coffee shops planned for further away currently. But we have a flight coming up in four hours. We have to scrap the plan and find others. So now we're going to a cafe. Uh, in the Omotosando area called Baggish Coffee. I hope it's gonna be good.
Get a little egg in there too. Dang, son. How much? 8.30. We are back from Tokyo, so this is our Tokyo shopping haul. We literally had 36 hours to do our shopping and walking around. So as you can see, a lot of these items are either repeat items from our past or things that we just want to restock because we love them so much. Because our trip was relatively short, I did have the luxury this time to buy like heavier 
drugstore items. So on this trip, I bought the And Honey shampoo. I was meant to also buy the conditioner, but I was in such a rush that I thought I would have time to go back to the store and I didn't. I have heard a lot of good things about this hair brand on the YouTube community. So I just wanted to try it. And since it's quite heavy, I just bought one bottle. Next up is this facial cleanser that Victor's sister recommended. She said she saw on TikTok and it was highly recommended. I think it's like a foaming cleanser, but I'll let you know if I enjoyed this item or not after I open it. Next up is eyeliner. I already used this one. It's a liquid eyeliner and I like how precise and smooth it glides on uh, my eyelid. This one I also found from YouTube. It's a creamy kind of pencil consistency and I got one in deep black and dark brown just to see if I want to go back to using pencil instead of liquid. Also, another recommendation from the YouTube beauty community is this pack of Lululun Hydra masks. It comes one bag. I think there's like seven sheets in there. Just picked it up because I do like using facial masks and I like how this one doesn't have as much packaging and plastic waste as the other ones. This is the hype item to buy if you're an Asian auntie or uncle. It's cold flu medicine and both Victor and I both got sick at the very beginning of the trip. So we've been struggling with runny noses and I can't taste anything essentially right now. This item is so popular in Japan with Asian tourists that they limit you one bottle per person. It's been a lifesaver in terms of uh, getting rid of our flu symptoms while we're traveling. Our next category is tech. So all our vlogs are shot on iPhone and Fujifilm. And lately we've been going through our batteries quite quickly on the Fujifilm. We average about three a day. So we did go to Big Camera and buy two extra batteries and we saved about a hundred bucks. I still enjoy listening to music on my AirPods, but ever since I changed to the newest iPhone, I've been having to use this clumsy little adapter to plug it into my phone. So I went to Big Camera and also bought a new pair of earpods with USB-C instead and saved about 50 bucks HKD. As you saw earlier, we did pop into the Case Defy store to check out their exclusive Sakura merch that is dropping mid-March and I picked up this Japan exclusive Sakura case. It's a beautiful uh, frosty matte pink case and I also got a matching exclusive strap for it. I also bought the matching camera lens gems to fully outfit my phone in Sakura theme but because I'm using it to shoot right now I can't show you. Vic also uses an AirTag for his camera backpack and he bought this Skater John AirTag holder accessory and it's really cute and I think it matches his personality. <laughs> At the Pokemon store, I picked up two packs of Pokemon cards from my friend who is turning 10 this year, little birthday gift. And for him and his brothers to share, I also got them this. You've seen it before in some of my other shopping hauls, which is the Tokyo Banana collaboration with Pokemon. It comes in a pack of four, and they're like these like soft Twinkie style uh, cakes. I also bought this postcard from Miyashita Park. They have a series which depicts life in Japan and I got the winter edition one. This one is showing the Omotosando shopping area with all the Christmas lights. And at the last Ryokan that we stayed at, they gave us some complimentary pouches. So I think these would make some really cute toiletry or gift bags. Okay, now it's my turn. Here is the pair of Converse Reacts. I actually had the same pair that I wore this trip because it was raining throughout the entire trip. It got really dirty, so I got the same pair. It was about 7,000 yen per pair. Sam wanted to get the US originators, but they're sold out. And I also convinced Sam to get a pair as well. She got hers in the classic black and white. I'm still in my era of very obsessed with olive green. So I got these plastic boxes to organize my cables and batteries. And it comes in a four in one container. So it's a big one and then it goes smaller, smaller, smaller. These are from High Tide in Miyashita Park. All four of them. The last item from High Tide is a high capacity cargo storage bag. We actually got this one last time in our visit to Tokyo, but we got the wrong size. But it actually doubled up as a shopping bag because we stored all our shoes and all the items here in this bag while we're walking around Tokyo streets. Okay, and last but not least is my favorite thing to buy in Japan. 
coffee beans. Of course, I had to visit Coffee Mamea and try their Geisha blend, but because they don't have any stock of the Geisha blend from Lee's Coffee, they recommended another coffee roaster from Code Black Coffee, also a fruity and light roast. Next up is a roastery called Coffee Right. We actually wanted to go to the one in Kurame, but we didn't have time for it. But luckily, they have a coffee shop across Coffee Mamea called Coffee and Donuts that also serve Coffee Rights beans. Next for coffee beans is a company called Mermaid Coffee Roasters. We discovered this place in Sapporo first, and when I walked in and had a cup of coffee, I was blown away because it was so good. So I was surprised that they actually had a shop in Tokyo, and I got their Mayo Blend, which is a mixture of Ethiopian and a fruity flavor type of roast. So I got four bags of those and also have the Yurga Chef Ethiopian beans, which I really like. And the Los level is light. And this is the last leg of our coffee shop tour of this vlog, which is from Rec Coffee. They're a Fukuoka roastery. We got their Yurga Chef blend and then their seasonal blend, which is the spring blend. is a mixture of different fruity flavors also from Ethiopia and Honduras. And my favorite out of all of them is the Geisha blend, which they only had four left in the store, so I got all four of them. And that concludes our entire shopping haul for this trip. We hope you uh, enjoyed this vlog and your coffee is still warm.